Hey, what's going on everyone? So I have a clip of a car drifting uh, that's playing at a constant speed right now. So in order to add a speed ramp, what we're gonna do is to click on the keyframe tray that you see here on the top left corner here, and then just click on that. This is going to bring up the keyframe tray panel. So by default, you just see the tray itself. However, in DaVinci Resolve 20.1, you have actually a keyframe curve view as well. So all you need to do is just to click on that curve icon right next to it. This is going to take you to the keyframe curves. So once you're here, what you want to do is to scroll down this list of settings until you find read time speed, which you can usually find at the bottom of this list. So you can see that right now, read time speed is not active because the curve icon right next to it is grayed out. So what you want to do is just to click on that curve icon in order to enable it. Now, in my case, I also have all these other settings that are active and I just don't want them to become distractions. So what we can do in order to turn all of them off is to find the parent control. So in this case is transform. And then if I click on that curve icon right next to transform, this will turn off all the curves uh, under that group. So now the only setting that's active is read time speed. All right, so now let's go ahead and add some speed points or keyframes. And there are a couple ways you can go about doing this. The first is to hold down the option slash alt key and then just simply click on uh, this curve where you want the speed point to be. And then and that will automatically add a speed point for you. So as you can see, it's very simple. Now you can also uh, move the playhead uh, to where you want to add the speed point or keyframes and then uh, come down to read time speed click on the keyframe icon there to add a keyframe and that will uh, basically do the same thing for you as well so there are a couple ways uh, where you can go about basically accomplishing the same thing all right so now we need to change the speed for different parts of this clip and in order to do that simply click on the curve for that portion of the clip so in my example here i am going to start to pull this up and this as you can see is going to increase the speed uh, for this part of the clip and you can see if we hover over the curve uh, the percentage uh, right there as well so i'm going to just pull it up quite a bit because i want this part to go really fast and then for the next part i'm going to start to drag down this curve because i want to slow down this part of the clip so as you can see that based on that percentage it's going to be much slower now i'm just going to repeat this for the rest of this clip I'm going to increase the speed and decrease the speed. And I'm going to finish by just speeding up the last part of the clip here. All right, so now if we were to have a look, guys, we have ourselves a speed ramp right here. So we have various speeds throughout this clip. This looks pretty good at this point. Now, there's one other thing I want to talk about is that you can also change the duration for different portions of this clip by clicking on that speed point and then drag it left and right so this will allow you to adjust the duration just in case you change your mind but we're not done yet because as you can see to go from one speed to another right now it's very sudden and this may not be ideal because you might want some easing and ease out so in order to do that we need to select all these speed points at once and then we're going to right click and then in this menu of options we are going to choose the one that is in the middle so this is going to add an easing and ease out automatically for all these different speed points so as you can see right now it definitely adds a bit of smoothness of between in between speeds now you can even make this smoother by clicking on the bezier handles and then drag it out this is going to uh, e make it even smoother so i'm going to do this for the first as well as the last uh, speed point here so now if we were to have a look at the hour clip again you will see that there's definitely a little bit more uh, smoothing there uh, for these different speed points and this looks really good right now Okay, guys, one last thing I want to talk about here is that, as you can see, my clip is getting a little bit jarring after the speed adjustment, especially during the slope down part of this clip. So if you're also experiencing the same issue, one thing you can do is to come to the read time and scaling settings. And then let's go to read time process here and pull up the menu. Uh, you uh, definitely want to experiment with the different options here. But one thing to keep in mind is that as you go down this list, it's going to get progressively more intensive computationally. So I'm going to choose optical flow. And then for motion estimation, I'm going to go with a standard better, which comes with the free version and also works really great. So 
Let's uh, have a look at our clip right here. You're gonna see how smooth, oh my goodness. Look at how smooth, guys, this is, and it just looks so much better. All right, guys, I hope you uh, enjoy this tutorial. So this is how you can speed ramp in the of 20.1. And uh, as always, I will see you next time.